Tonight on Fear Factor. Competing on Fear Factor is hard enough, but how about having to do it with your ex? Is anybody thinking about getting back together? Oh, definitely not. The reason for their failed relationships? How's the communication between you two guys? Loud. Is now the key to winning $50,000. Go ahead, go, 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 in the middle, in the middle. What caused the breakup? He cheated. Oh, man, she just sold me out like that. And they wonder why I won't get married. Every week, Joe Rogan may be in your neighborhood, ready to bring Fear Factor to your door. What's up? Oh, I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Everybody doing? Good. All right. Outstanding. Well, this is a very unusual fear factor in that you guys are all broken up couples, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of weird competing together. Tough spending all the time together. <laughs> I bet. Now, how long have you guys been broken up? You guys first. About two years. Been broken two years up. been broken up? Yeah. And how long were we together for? About a year. Whose idea was it? Mine. He cheated. He cheated oh, on you? Oh, man. She just sold me out like that. <laughs> Whoa. And what about you guys? About what? Seven months we've been broken up. Whose idea was it? Hers. You wanted to stick around? Mm. He had someone else. Oh, are you gonna blame Would you say he had that? someone else? Yeah, he did. Really? Mm, okay, if you say so. What about you guys? How long have you been broken oh, up? Oh my gosh, we've been on and off for the last 10 years. When did you decide to just call it quits? Which time? Oh, I believe last Please. August. Whose idea was it? <laughs> it was in the heat of battle, nobody oh, remembers. Yeah, so. Oh, just... battle, nice. One of those couples. And what about you guys? Um, three and a half years. Three and a half years. You've been separated for three and a half years? Yes. Aren't you guys in the process of a divorce? Yes, we are. What are you, what are you dragging your heels? The lawyers. The lawyers, <laughs> the lawyers are dragging their heels? Uh -huh. Oh, my God. And they wonder why I won't get married. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How long were you together? Uh, 18. No, about 20. 20. Wow. That's a long time. Long time. All right. Ready to see your first time? Yeah. Yes. All right. Here it is. You and your partner are going to have to balance yourself on those 12 inches as that boat moves across the water. You will each be holding on to a single piece of rope. You will have to support your partner as they lean away from you and attempt to grab six flags. Whichever team can grab the most flags the fastest will get to choose which team they want to send home. Oh, man. We have randomly selected today's order, and Ashley and Chris, you guys are lucky number one. Woo! Hey. All right. How's the balance? You guys got a good balance? Hey. I have a good balance. Perfect balance. Perfect balance? Um, yeah. Um, yeah? <laughs> Do you want to throw her in the water for breaking up with you? Yeah, sure. I mean, is that possible? Uh, no! <laughs> is, is that, is that all right? Not yet. Oh, okay. Wait till you, you know, you want to win first, Ooh, right? You drop me. That's it. All right, but that's all in the past now, right? All in the past. All, all in the past. past. Good friends we're here now. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready to communicate? Ready. Ready to win some money? Ready. Yes. All right, you guys are first. Ready. Good luck to you. Head on out. Woo! Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh. She's so little, so I think she'll be good at balancing. Easy to hold on to and yep. control. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. Is I that one of the few things you guys ever agreed we on? Agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have our moments. <laughs> it sucks going first, but I'm a fighter. I'm not going out without a fight. You can ask Chris if you don't believe me. 
Ashley and I have always had chemistry. Sometimes it's really good chemistry and we get along just fine. And other times she's punching me and hitting me. But for this week, I hope that we can have great chemistry and we can come away with the $50,000. All right, the boat is getting up to speed. Seconds. Three. Yeah. That's all you got. What happened? Uh, uh, what happened? I think maybe it's because I put my hand up and try to lean forward. Well, you but... actually put your hand like that. At least I got the flag. At least you got three. Yeah. No, that's really probably not going to be enough, though. <laughs> Don't say that. All right, you guys are next. Do you guys exercise? Are you in good shape? No. No working out at all? No. Nothing? <laughs> no. She takes really? care of kids. Well, chasing kids has got to be some sort of exercise. That's my workout. All right, ready to do this? Yes. Ready. All right, good luck to you. All right. Head on out. Good luck, good luck, good luck guys. See you guys. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. What do you think? You know, they were together 20 years. They ought to know how to communicate with each other. You know, give me some slack, don't give me some slack, whatever. So they might well, do Well, if they right. really knew how to communicate, they'd still be together, right? <laughs> All right, Janine is taller than Ashley, so the flags have been adjusted to her height. They'll be adjusted to everyone's height when you get out there. So there's no advantage of being taller or shorter in this stuff. Although Janine and I are separated, we work together as a team because we have a family, and uh, because of that, we have to work together all the time on a daily basis. We definitely believe in ourselves regardless of our separation and divorce process. We still believe enough in one another to win this game. I'm sure it's a lot harder up there than it is from down here, but I have confidence in my partner. She, When she sees something she wants, she jumps on it. So, <laughs> hey, that's how you were with me back in the day. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Back in the day. Wow. Well, let's test your teammate skills. You guys know what you have to do? Win. Six flags, one minute, 11 seconds is what you have to be. You ready? Ready to rock. Head on out. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Jim and Janine, welcome back. Good job. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. How was it? It's hard. It's a lot yeah, harder. It's, it's a lot really harder hard. What What's the hard like part about it? Uh, I think. I think the hard part is your balance. The balance and getting the flags and working. You got to work together. What's the uh, skull and the guns on the arm? It's a police tattoo. I'm on a SWAT team. That's what you guys have. That guns exists. and a skull. What is your SWAT specialty? Taking down bad guys. It's definitely very important for us today to come out with the best score so that the decision of who gets to go home and who gets to stay lies in our hands. We are definitely not ready to take a trip back to Jersey just yet. 
Even though Marissa has had her trust issues with me in the past, she's gonna have to trust that I'm going to do the right thing on this stunt. do it then I'm gonna feel old so oh. yeah so every year I have them watch me we go out to the park and I'm like watch <laughs> watch me my, do my back handspring watch me no, just watch just real quick is that fun for you no it's not <laughs> that, that's not fun nor is don't tell me you don't see these hips <laughs> don't tell me you don't see these hips she said that today <laughs> how's the communication between you two guys loud Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe that could help. That was pretty loud. Yeah, I, I, I guarantee you I'll hear her, engine or not. <laughs> All right, well, you guys know exactly what you have to do. You ready to do this? We're yeah. on it. All right, Woo. good luck. Good luck, good luck, good, good, luck. Luck. good luck, good luck, good luck. As a couple, James and I really couldn't work through things. However, I think when push comes to shove, we could definitely work together. Kim and I are here primarily to win this for our son, Jace. You know, give him something that he can run back to school and gloat to all of his friends about and say, yeah, my parents won on Fear Factor. Good job. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. How was it? Whew, harder than it looks. Much harder than it looks? It's OK. Yeah. yeah, I got to give them a lot of credit, man. It's tough. Well. Four flags is your count, so so far you guys are at the mercy of Jim and Janine. We love so them. far. Love you guys. Back rows, back rows all around. <laughs> and they're off. She's got one. She's got three. Whichever team the best gets to send one team home. Actually. They didn't do too good at the beginning. They fell right off. Yeah, but you got to figure they went first. That's that's a scary thing. Uh, Marissa, I'm Buck. He's Buck's a, a big, big guy. talker. I'm concerned about. I'm concerned, I'm concerned about, about him too. Then James we have James and Kim. Kim. They have all that physical fitness. They fight a lot. This is all about teamwork, right? It's about teamwork, control. James and Kim, how was it? Intense. Uh, <laughs> the, wind the wind was moves. really moving for you guys. It was. Yeah. Blowing like crazy. It was hard to tell. I yeah. mean, I, I thought he should have had the rope tighter. So you're blaming him? No. No? It was both of us. <laughs> Jim and Janine? Yes. Yes. Who's going home? Well, well it should in be. All fairness. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Who's going home? 
Well, well it should in be. In all fairness. Go ahead. You want me to talk first? Go ahead. Um, those who don't do the best are usually the first to go. So that would be Ashley and Chris. Right. But we have our second best here, Kim uh -huh. and James. Going to go. Kim and James, that's it. They've made the decision. This is the end of the line for you guys. Hope you had fun. See you later. Thanks. Good luck, guys. That's cool, man. Bye. Take care. Later, y'all. I know that when we get back home, our son Jace is going to give us an earful about getting eliminated in the first round because that was pretty much his only request was not to lose in the first round and make it to the second round. Oh, my gosh. This is the worst feeling ever, 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 ever. I definitely feel like we lost the $50,000. I know it wasn't ours to begin with, but I really did feel like when we came here, we were gonna leave with it. All right, congratulations to the rest of you. You are all moving on to the next round. Let's head back to shore and see what we have in store for you guys tomorrow. What's up? Hey. Joe, how you Welcome doing? to day two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have any of you gotten better acquainted with your exes since uh, you guys have been hanging out together? Kind of. Are you like enjoying <laughs> each other's company? I wouldn't say yeah. all that. Is anybody reconsidering? Maybe thinking about getting back together? Oh, definitely That's not. That's a negative. Definitely right not? No one? No. Not really? a snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> wow. Are you ready to see your next stunt? Yep. Bring it on. Here is your next stunt. You and your partner will both be strapped to this wheel with your head in these plexiglass boxes. Joining your head in these plexiglass boxes will be these. 75 Emperor Scorpions. As the wheel spins, you must grab as many scorpions as you can from the ground and stuff them into the plexiglass box. The couple that grabs the least amount of scorpions will be eliminated. Oh. Wow. We have randomly selected today's order, and Marissa and Buck, you guys are lucky number one. All right. Any bug phobias? No, no. No? Don't those things bite? Ever been stung by a scorpion? No, no, no I haven't ever seen one before, but hey, how you doing? Ever been stung by a bee? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a bee sting times like, you know, like 150 or something like that. Sure. So it's like, all right. They're ugly, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are pretty ugly. Nasty. They're, they're like yeah. evil lobsters from space. <laughs> Mercy, you worry about Buck at all? No, he better do it or I'll kick his butt. Now I'm really afraid. Before, the, the <laughs> stunt didn't scare me. The scorpion's nothing, me. The scorpions or her kicking your butt? Her kicking my butt without really? a doubt. Man. Wow. For sure. Is she that sure. tough? Yeah, she's, she's tough, man. I've seen her beat people up. Have you really? Yeah. Who have you seen her beat up? Well, she beat up the girl that I cheated on her with. Oh, really? Yeah. She's no joke, Joe. All right, you guys are up first. You ready to do this? Ready to rock, man. Step on in. Sweet. Good luck. Good luck, man. How you guys think they're going to do? I'm hoping nobody does well. Why, are you nervous? I'm very nervous. Very I'm... nervous. Uh-oh. Oh, Chris. Yeah, that's not good for me to I'm hear, but um, hopefully everything will be OK, and my uh -oh. partner will lose her nervousness. Uh, I just don't want to get stung. Scared of some little bugs? Those are not bugs. You ready? Bring it on, baby! All right, you have 75 Emperor Scorpions starting out inside your box. I'm gonna count you down. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! Marissa's doing better than you, Buck. She's grabbing a big handful. Grab her. There you go. That's it. Nice. Good job, Marissa! Oh. All right, Buck, way to go! Good oh. handful, Marissa! 
Harrison, come on! Coming up on one minute! Nice, Marissa just got a huge handful. Yeah, she is scooping them. That chick's an animal! Get in there, dog! Marissa is so outpacing you, dude. You are the weak link here, dude. You can't beat me. You can't beat me. 15 seconds. Come on, level. You got 10 seconds left, man. You count. Let's go for a big handful. Five, four, three, two. Buck and Marissa, welcome back. Joe? What's up, Joe? How you doing? So how was it? Whew. It was very, very difficult. It seemed more difficult for you than it did for Marissa. Oh, are you cracking a joke, man? You're busting on me now? Well, I'm just going to tell you. Hey, we're a team. And I'm, I hope she did better than I did. You got 56. She got 105. Woo! So your total is 161 scorpions. Think that's going to be enough? Hopefully, hopefully, he tried our best, so. Marissa, do you, do you feel like Buck let you down a little bit there? No, I'm sure he tried his best. Oh, that's, that's very nice. Aw. Oh, thanks, babe. All right, that's You guys went through a lot together. <laughs> that's nice. Janine and Jim, did you learn anything watching these guys? Yep. What'd you learn? Pain is the weakness leaving the body. Janine, do you agree with that? I'm just going for it. I'm going to beat Marissa. I mean, it really hurts. <laughs> oh, Buck's going to put the fear into you now. <gasps> now, uh, Jim, you're going to keep up your end of it here? Absolutely. Rough, tough SWAT team member like yourself? What's a little bug? They're just bad guys, I gotta take that. That's right, little bad guys with pinchers. Now, if you guys get past 161, you will automatically move on into the finals and be that much closer to $50,000. Awesome. Ready to do this? Absolutely. Step on up, party people. Yeah. Christian, Ashley, what do you guys think? You worried about Ashley? Oh, I'm, I'm worried still worried. I'm gonna be worried about Ashley until it's over. I have nothing to say. Ashley, you look very nervous. I am, um, yeah, I am. Yeah? Well, look, Marissa and Buck got through it. They're it fine. fine. It's okay. Yeah, I still got stung. But it, it hurts, though. It hurts a lot. I really needed that input. Thank you. All right, Jim and Janine, are you ready? Yep. Yep. I'm going to count you down. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. All right, Jim, got a good handful. Janine got a few. Ooh, only a couple got in there, though. You guys are gonna really have to dig. Janine's doing terrible. Marissa did great. Oh, it's on his arm. Oh. Oh, bite. I wonder what's worse, this or divorce. What's worse? This is divorce. Anybody? Coming up on 45 seconds. Come on, Janine, you're gonna have to pick up the pace. Marissa was way ahead of you at this point. I can still feel him biting. Jim's getting some huge handfuls. Come on, Janine, you gotta catch up. Jim is a savage, look at him. That dude doesn't care. He's getting big left and right. Janine, you're getting only one or two at a time. That's not good enough. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Good job. Janine and Jim, how was it? Intense, crazy, It was not sick. How do you think you did? I hope we did well, because uh, I have enough cuts of blood all over my hands to uh, prove it. Well, you got 88, and Jim, you got 129 for nice. a total of 217. Nice. Wow. Nice. You are moving on. Congratulations. Now it is down to Ashley and Chris versus Buck and Marissa. If you guys can beat Buck and Marissa's count of 161, you will move on to the final stunt and be that much closer to $50,000. Ashley, if you fall apart in there, Chris is never going to forgive you. Come on. No, I probably won't. <laughs> you look real nervous. I am. Come on, $50,000. Is that close to the finals. You guys ready? Yes. All right. Step on over and hop on in. Buck, how you feeling right now? 
solid, bro. But everybody got way more than you. Oh. That's not bothering you? Mine's hurting, bro. Are you nervous about this? A little, but I think Ashley's a little more nervous. And Chris, this is it. You yeah. count the beat is 161 scorpions. You Let's beat go. that, you move on. If not, you are eliminated. I'm gonna count you down in three, two, one, go. Come on, you gotta grab it, you gotta cover that hole. Cover your hole. He only got one. Actually, grab any. You can do it, you get handfuls. Don't be scared, Chris. Come on, grab him. That's it, Ashley. You're doing better than Chris. Big handfuls. Come on, let's go. Wow, Chris, you're falling apart here. Come on, Ashley. Ah! Oh. Ah! Freaking out. You guys got to really ah! pick up the pace. You're going to get eliminated without a doubt if you keep it up. Ah! Ashley, are you giving up? She's not even trying. You beat that, you move on. If not, you are eliminated. <laughs> Ashley, are you giving up? She's not even trying. 45 seconds left, you can still do it! <laughs> Come on, guys! <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two. Congratulations, Buck and Marissa. You guys are moving on to the finals. Congratulations, Jim and Janine. <laughs> Ashley and Chris, not so hot. Yeah. Ashley, you got eight. Chris, you got 13 for a total of 21. Not nearly good enough to beat the 161 by Buck and Marissa. Not at all. So you know what that means. We gotta go. That's it. It's nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you guys. The good Hi. news is you broke it up, so you don't really have to talk to each other. Yeah, I told you I wasn't each talking other to her anyway. Okay, so, cool. cool. See ya. Nice meeting you guys. Well. Bye. I definitely feel that I'm to blame because I freaked out. It freaked Chris out even more. Sure. You got 13. You got eight. Hey, you quit. Yes, I got nervous from listening to Ashley panic and stuff, but that's my fault for getting nervous, not her. I'm supposed to ignore that. I'm supposed to still do my job, and I didn't. I may be more blamed than she is. I got 13. Somebody else got one something. I could have gotten 150. I didn't. The rest of you, congratulations. You are in the finals now and that much closer to $50,000. Awesome. Give yourself a little round of applause. Woo! Now let's get out of here and see what we have in store for you tomorrow. Come with me. Got it. Congratulations on making it to the finals of Broken Up Couples Fear Factor. Thank you. Good How's year. everybody feeling? Awesome. Awesome. Great. Now, Jim and Janine, have you guys been getting along any better since you've been uh, so victorious over the last oh, couple of days? It's the closest we've been together in three and a half years. So uh, I guess, yeah, we're getting Fear going Fear Factor's good. bringing people together. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Buck and Marissa, how are you guys feeling? Feeling good. Good. Fortunate to be here, I think. Just pretty happy that uh, Chris and Ashley choked yesterday. Yeah, definitely, especially since I don't feel like I put my best foot forward. Kind of let Marissa down a little bit, so I'm glad we made it through anyhow. Marissa, do you forgive him? Yeah, I do. I forgive you do? Him. We're still here, so if we weren't, then it'd be a different story. <laughs> Would you be beating him up then? Absolutely. Did you beat up any chicks last night? No, no. No? Not, no. Took the night off? That's nice. But we wouldn't have, to have Jim go and arrest you. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations on making it to the final stunt. Thank you, sir. And here it is.
will plow through those obstacles. You will then have to swerve through traffic and get your car onto the opposite truck for time. All right. The broken up couple that does this the fastest will win $50,000 and become broken up couples Fear Factor champions. All right. We have randomly selected today's order, and Buck and Marissa, you guys are lucky number one. Yes, we are. Good drivers? I'm good. She's great. Really? Love driving. She's better than you? Uh, she's crazier than me, which might be an which might be good for the stunt. All right, you know what you have to do? Yes, sir. You ready? Yeah. Ready. All right, I'm going to send you guys off. Thank good you, luck. sir. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you, Joe. Get off. Awesome. All right. Good luck. How do you think they're gonna do? I think they'll do okay. She's a crazy girl. She is a crazy she girl. She is crazy, but maybe that's a bad thing. It's so for our sake. Jim, do you think you have an advantage in this because of all your police training? Driving under yeah. stressful conditions? Pursuits and stuff, yeah. Now, if you guys win, is all the money gonna go to divorce lawyers? Actually, we settled ourselves. We got sick of, we got sick of waiting for the lawyers. Good for you. Three and a half years is a little long, huh? Yeah, we, yeah, just we went out to lunch and did it ourselves. So you guys are still friends? Yeah, we have to be. We have, we have to children. Be. We have no choice. But would you be if you didn't have the children? Probably. Probably. Oh, that's nice. All right, babe, what do you think? Yes. Tear them up. Yes. You can do it. Don't crash. Yeah, just drive like you do on the Garden State Parkway. We'll be fine, all right? Yeah. Let's go get them. Marissa is in the yellow car. Buck is in the red car. Hey, Buck, at what point do we put the cars into, into overdrive? Over? I would say pretty much as soon as you hit the road, hon. The RPMs are going to be real high. Over. All right, I copy that. Raise the roof. Everything represents. Welcome back. Hi, Joe. Good Hi, to Joe be back, Joe. Hi, good job. Your time was job. one minute and 35 seconds. Okay. How was it? It's intense. So how do you guys feel about your time? Think that's good enough? Uh, we tried. Once we got in the position that we wanted to be in, we, I think we went pretty fast. How bad did the swerving car screw you guys up? To be honest with you, I've seen worse driving than that on the Garden State Parkway. <laughs> nice. 
All right, Janine, here's the deal. It's a core step mission. Right. Off ramp, right. on ramp, mission accomplished. Right. All right. Focus accomplished. Focus. We're done. Good job. We'll get it done. Well, Jim's a cop, so he's probably got some driving skills, yeah. but she's a mother of three. She's probably used to driving real safe and everything. Minivan, so. soccer mom. So I'm thinking. So you think I'm she's thinking, the weak link? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking he'll get on in about a minute ten and take her about two and a half minutes. Well, you know what? It looks like the show has brought them back together because they gave each other a big fat kiss on the they lips. They did. Get out of wow. here. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a nice thing, huh? Is it? You know what they say? Love is grand, and divorce is a hundred grand. <laughs> Janine. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Look, uh, we're just gonna get this done. Real quick and sweet and it'll be over. Just do it. Get it done, you're in my old car. All right, here we go. The time to beat is one minute, 35 seconds. If they can't beat that time, you guys win all the cash. Come on, clock. Tick, 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 tick. Boyhood fantasy. That was Did crazy. That was crazy. Your time to beat was one minute, 35 seconds. You guys got it. Your time to beat was one minute, 35 seconds. You guys got one minute, 12 seconds. Nice. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Buck and Marissa. Nice I knew you good. guys. Great job. Just the end of the line. Congratulations, Thank guys. You. Thank yeah. you very much. Take it easy. Spend it on the kids, awesome. all right? Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Did it. Bye. Congratulations. Thank That's you. it. It's over. <laughs> you guys got past the lead and grab on the boat. Thank you guys you. got past the scorpions and awesome. you got the best time here. Awesome. You are our broken up couples fear factor champions. Awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. And evidently, awesome. fear is not a factor for you guys. Do you need a cheer, right. girl? We love you guys. Give each hug. Yeah. All right, here we go again. We are at the Svensson family in Attleboro, Massachusetts, about to sneak up on them for a Capital One Fear Factor home invasion. Obviously, they don't know we're coming. Let's see how they react. Hello. How you doing? What's up? Hi. How you doing? Hello. Is this the Svensson family? Yeah, it is. Come on outside. <laughs> Well, I understand you guys watch Fear Factor all the time, and I understand it's a pretty competitive family. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's good, because you're all going to get to compete together in this one. <laughs> so, uh, this was your idea? Yep. And well, why, why did you decide to drag your family into this? Um, you know, because we're a fun family. We like to do <laughs> new and different things all the time. Oh, so. I'm going to show you something new and different. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to be upset with her? Or? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on your taste buds. Oh, uh, yes. I yeah. have to dispel the myth. I'm a librarian, you know, and they have a bad reputation sometimes for just being nerdy with books and computers, so well, you I are. have to. No. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Oh. I'm sure you guys recognize this. this. Bucket. <laughs> the Fear Factor Chuck Bucket. 
We'll have this set aside just in case. Hopefully, we won't need it. But if we are going to need it, this is what you're going to be throwing up. Oh! Oh, a fear factor favorite, the Madagascar hissing cockroach. And this is how it's going to work, all right? Each one of those roaches are worth a key. If you can eat those roaches, you get a key. Two of these keys will open up two of these treasure boxes. Inside these boxes are a credit card from Capital One worth $2,500. If you can get both keys and open both boxes, you guys will win $5,000. They don't hurt you? No, they taste terrible, but they don't, they don't hurt you. What do they taste like? Uh, like a roach. Like you would expect a roach would taste <laughs> like. Cool, so you have to make sure that you really chew them thoroughly because they have a lot of sharp edges to them. You have one minute, ready? Yeah. In three, two, one, go! Ah! Do it, grab it, come on, you grab it! Come on! Do it, do it, do it, do it, throw it down! Come on, you're wasting time, you're 15 seconds in, you haven't even got it in your mouth. Oh! Kara, remember this is your idea! Go, go, you got it good, grab a key, go! Done, grab a key, grab a key! Nothing. Try it on the other one, try it on the other one. Come on, Kara! Got it, got it. You got, got one? It. Wrap it on the road. Got it. Hurry up. Done. Got Congratulations. Got it. You guys just won $5,000 from Capital One. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Don't do another one. There's plenty of fear oh. for everyone. Fear Factor back-to-back -back episodes continue next. Oh, what if we big bad boogie monster will eat him? From the mind of author R.L. Stein, you're going to see the world like you've never seen it before. The Nightmare Room premieres tomorrow at nine. Only on Chiller. Scary good. Look forward to seeing you on Monday.